<clears throat> Hello, my name is Jeff. I'm a wizard. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I need to do a video because uh, this very wise lady on YouTube told me that when you um, have these uh, sort of, I don't know, downs, like you have no motivation, you don't know where to go, nothing feels right. She said, like, do the, do the opposite of what you don't want to do. So, hello. Let's do a video. Uh, my head is rambling of ideas of what I want to talk about. Um, and I don't want to pick any of them. So, these will be like general support messages, I guess. Um, and as is tradition, we do that with this music. Fluffing a duck. This is how we handle emotional um, problems here at my channel. Welcome. Okay. okay, so we also do this by choosing a card and then you choosing it and then um, I, me talking. Uh, bom, bom. So, first of all, I like... Wait. Bom, bom, it's too loud. So, also to help us out, besides the very soothing music, um, this music makes everything better for me. If you just leave it on for a second. Everything becomes just like absurd. Hey, did you know like did everybody know the tiger's eye is like like naturally magnetic or like Yeah, magnetic. Oh, no metallic. I Don't know it works tiger's eye and magnet um, Okay, yeah, the other thing that's gonna help us is I found these amazing cars in just like random store around the corner um, These pastel holographic cards so like what else? Um, like, look, look how beautiful these are. Like, look, don't look at the three stars. It's okay. Um, look how beautiful these are. Like the colors and the holographics. So, like, come on, it's safe here to talk about your emotions. Look, look at the nice, pretty pastel colors. Come on now. And then I also have these uh, cards that I think uh, because holographic uh, will match. These are these. Um, Illusion cards, like optical illusion cards. So um, I don't know uh, what to do here. Um, so no, I wanna like we're, no, yeah. Let's do, <laughs> let's use this to pick the card. I mean, and then I'm gonna use the little cards um, to separate the groups. Okay, look. So I normally don't do this on camera, but I just have to start because oh, um, or I wasn't gonna start. So, okay, um, <clears throat> please, my lord um, and savior. I feel so awkward always talking to, like on camera, sort of um, doing the actual ritual stuff because it's so, it's so personal, right? So, um, if you don't mind, I'll just do this in my head. Um, There we go. So, um, first card is this card, group number one, these four clovers, da, da. And then group number two is this three of cups or three of hearts, whatever. I see umbrellas. Yeah. That's group number two. Group number three is this two hearts, but my brain wanted to say butts. So, and then group number four is this nine of uh, diamonds. Uh, which looks like a, uh, it looked like the added card from something like the, the catalog. So number four, okay. So choose any of these four cards, then go to the timestamps in the description box. And then we're gonna have a nice little talk. Like nothing's nothing's gonna happen here. Everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Hi. See you there. Bye. Um, no, I'm just gonna keep going because that works better for me. Keep going, keep going, keep on swimming, keep on swimming. Okay, um, group number one. Let's see. Let's get these babies out. Four of our clovers. Um, four of swords. Rest. Rest, resting. So, hey, how have you been? I've been um, 
I've been detoxing, detoxing from like a long period of stress. So my back is out and I'm all like, like I miss the anxiety or like the, the constant fear of, you know, like that like urgent and bad stuff happening. Or, um, anyways, it's not about me, it's about you, group one. <laughs> but it's always secretly about me here. Oh my, like, that's the point, right? Um, but it can be both. That's what I learned in my beliefs. It can be both. We can have both. Like, okay, I can be um, <clears throat> um, make it all about me and make it all about you at the same time. Jesus, the answer for that Jesus gives us is and instead of or. So any problem you're facing right now, just in, like where you like feel like you have to choose, put in and. It really works. Like you know. Even in, in situations where it feels like impossible, like, oh, I have to do this both jobs and that's possible, I can't do it both at the same time. Say it, I want this and that. And um, <clears throat> you're going to feel that, like, like you stated very genuinely, I want that job and that job. But automatically, that's going to like give you, like, what do you want from that job and what do you want from that job? What is it, you know, like that? that job has that you can go into that job has. Suddenly you're going to state it. Or, or it doesn't matter. Just say it and then you let let your subconscious and and, and, and brain and, and the world do, do the rest. Um, you don't have to think about it. That's the thing. Never think about how. Just say what you want. Don't think about how. It's so difficult. Like even sometimes when I'm writing it, like you know, even Erica Badu says it. Uh, put pencil to paper and see that shit get like should see that shit happen or something. And it's true, like everything I've put, I've, everything I've written down on a piece of pencil and paper has come true. It happens every time. But my God, my brain tries to resist and it's like, why do I write it? That's why big things are still or, or difficult because while I'm writing it, it's like my brain sends this barrage of, of conflict, um, which makes it very warped suddenly while if i ask for things that are completely random they'd happen like easy that's enough shuffling here are your cards excuse me nine of um well i feel like i just like released something or um said something that's gonna sink in later nine of uh um wands wands the hearts I'm just in love with this card, like I saw the green, it was green, it was blue. It's holographic. What more do you need? Um, what more do you want from me? <laughs> uh, four of one. Seven of... This card keeps haunting me. Remember when I showed you the deck, it was the first one that was there. Um, and I pulled it for myself. And I can, can't seem to find a positive way about it. I mean, like, like you know, it's like like the the theft card or the, like taking what you can after something or leaving and uh, um, or um, the the having to uh, struggle card or the having to like get by sort of sometimes for me. Uh, Like, okay, you can think out loud, out loud, like I, like somebody surviving in the wild for a long time. Um, but it's so soft and pink here and it's holographic and yet these, I don't see swords. See, this is the weird thing that my brain is doing. Like I, um, before I can even zoom in and say like, oh, it's a clover, it's a swirly thing, it looks like, oh, a tree, a tree, that's a good thing. See, before I can even say that, my brain or my, I just react emotionally to the card of this like, oh no. <sighs> what now? Like, oh my God, like, um, what did that one guy say? Uh, first I was born, now this. That's from that Daniel guy um, on YouTube. He speaks about Dutch. Look at it like Daniel and Dutch and you'll find it. Um, so a 
So, so see how I'm like stalling? I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. It's like I'm. I refuse to look at it in a positive way. Or I'm. I. It's not even that. It's like I'm not even open to, to suggestion, to look at it in a positive way. You know, like. And that's what I did the first time. I pulled it out for myself. It was on a table, and I looked at it, and it's like, oh no, I'll deal with that later. And then I never dealt with it. Just never faced it. Put them back away. I was like, oh whatever, right? Like probably this or that. Um, and that and doesn't matter if it's true or not. It's always a, a, an illogical. It's an error that I I have that I normally very. If I write down things, I'm already very good at catching it's an error if you never look at all the options you know so like it, it's not normal that i can't look at this card and say like okay it could be this negative thing it could be the positive thing you know it could mean this or that and then i also have to look at it objectively what else can it be like you know lateral lateral thinking um thinking outside of the box um it's like you block it a bit you refuse to see the silver lining maybe from something no no it's like not even that i can't even um go into it it's very um that's the weird thing here so let's start at the beginning because god this card is distracting me it's like taking over all the entire show what's up with that we'll get into it we'll talk about it Oh, we're going to talk about it. <clears throat> so there's four of clovers. And I don't want... What is the illusion? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like this way, they're all face out. You know, like you see the outward face. And this way, you're supposed to see the inward face. Oh, my God. Do you hear my skepticism and my, like, bitterness? Like, oh, my like, God. I guess you're supposed to see this and like this, you're supposed to see that, I guess, you know, like, you're supposed to see something else with like, I, by the way, I wasn't even trying to see it. It was like, I guess, you, I guess you're supposed to see that. Um, I guess that's a thing, whatever. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing that's how you're feeling. Like, like, like a bit like Mila here, like, um, Jesus, like, it's, Kind of a depressed, down feeling, very tired, just tired, just exhausted. Um, this is holding on. You're holding on some way or another, but, but, but um, see, this is rest. You're in a rest, uh, resting phase and you're still holding on to the anxiety. Okay, that's full circle. Like, like I started detoxing from the anxiety. You're detox detoxing from the anxiety, um, but meanwhile, Ah, okay, 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 okay. So this is where you're at. This is why this card is here. Okay, now I see it. Okay, now it's beautiful. You know exactly where you where you came out of. Okay, um, it was difficult. It was long. It was a lot. Um, you had to hold on. How do you say that with the bear of your teeth? Is that an expression? Um, it was a difficult time, it was difficult. I just want to say it was a difficult freaking year. Now it's a little bit better. You, you're coming in finally sort of a little bit of a, a stabilization, st stabilizing period. Um, yet you've been uh, holding on so long. It's, it, it's, and you know, you know something that I'm discovering when a problem, a problem that exists for a long time when it falls away, you realize that you kind of feel void because actually it was something to work around you know like okay, it's annoying it comes in your way but you have an enemy to fight it's clear you know who you're fighting better the devil you know right and suddenly it's gone and then you're like it's like you have to you don't know where to go anymore you don't know where to go anymore oh i just thought of something else that was so to match this so well, like um, like Corona, Corona. Okay, I think most of us feel this. Let's say after right now the world seems to be normalizing again. Things seems to be opening up again, and suddenly you realize how this annoying thing that 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 
made everything impossible the kind of the blessing of it of of not having to choose of not having an option just kind of having to go with the flow it um having to work with what you got kind of um there's a comfort in that and now suddenly when everything is possible it's like oh well i have to choose things again and i have to like go for things again like you know it it was kind of an easy or yeah like a nice ex excuse to have for a while you know like uh, oh i can't really um really push in my career because of it's of, of limitations i can't actually i actually just can't do it you know or um i can't go to the gym right now because they're closed um all kinds of these things um which again made us realize how much we wanted. Um, I think that's the thing. Maybe there was disappointment there. Maybe we kind of get used to then just not going for it. Um, it's been a lot, okay? So you we're coming out of that and that's the point. And that brings me to this, why this, why this card is so beautiful at the end is because this is where we're at, we're, we're, you are, I like this person that has been surviving in the wild for a very long time and just having to deal with it and now you're like back in um it's fine now like you're back in uh it's it's like that the movie castaway you're tom hanks and you've been talking to that ball for like months like coping like surviving and then suddenly you're back on land in the normal world <clears throat> and and that's where you're at you know like it's it's um Time to leave that period, so he has to leave that volleyball. I'm getting emotional, I don't know why. <laughs> um, does he leave the volleyball? I don't even know. He has to shave that beard off again. It's like, um, uh, yeah, so there's a, there's been loss, you know? Like, there's, there's definitely been loss here. Um, but it's time to let that go. And, this card is telling you, like, look, um, accept that, because actually right now there's beautiful, there's something beautiful happening, there's union here, there's, there is silver linings, um, you're back, you're back, you know, you're out of the woods, you're out, you're off the island, um, that's, um, Take that, you know, um, you're safe now, you're, you are safe now, okay, so slowly exhale, let it go, at your own time, you know, um, but, but do not, um, grab hold of things, that are right now in front of you that you had to not have for a long time you know okay i know it's weird when the right when it's right in front of you and suddenly you have to um just have it you know but do it um, for god's sakes grab hold put your arms around the things you know around people um enjoy it while you can and I don't mean that it's going away, but I mean for yourself, like, you know, like get into that mode of um, you, you, you're allowed to enjoy it. It's, it's okay. Um, so do that for yourself. Um, it's safe now. Yeah. Something like that. It is quite emotional. So I feel like it's a lot of backed up stress um emotions yeah a lot um so very tired you've like from inside to out i feel like you've been um you know like uh, it's like you you're having you're having trouble getting a hold of yourself like you're like finding who you are again because you've had to turn it around so much you've had to be everything everything turned upside down then then back again um you like you like you feel like a completely different person like um it's like you're meeting yourself from a year ago 
yeah, it's like you're meeting yourself from a year ago and you... And it's like you don't... It's, you don't even recognize each other and there's almost this feeling like you, like you meet each other and there's this feeling of awkwardness and kind of maybe sadness for the other person somehow um yeah it's like the new you doesn't know sort of how to explain to the old you what what, what yeah yet has to come and how 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 much happened had to happen um, and how much heartbreak or, or how difficult it still had to become and that old you sees the new you and he sees or she sees you know like um, that that you're not okay so like the old you sees and looks at you and says like holy shit like um, but at the same time they see you actually kind of having what they want the old you and but the new you is like the new you kind of knows that but has trouble accepting that because it's like uh, look what we had to do to get there that was no joke um and i feel like you're kind of traumatized in a way and the old you sees that and and i think the message that both have to each other is um you just, you just, you know, like, want to hug each other and... Um, and just... Those two parts want to tell the other, like, part, like... I do it for you, you know? I do it all for you. It takes a while for those parts to, to like sort of become one again and um, it's like a new cycle, a new, it's like you go full circle and then you like, it's like a check, you, it's like, you, yeah, but in a positive way you can see that it's like at the end of the level it's like you get the score and all the experience points and all the level up points and you gain a level. I write that in my diary, it's like, oh, I like leveled up and I get like bonus points for that. And I have like strength plus 10 and vitality plus 300 and magic and luck plus a million thousand. <clears throat> um, so, you know, it's really a matter of perspective here and you're slowly turning around, but I feel like you need a push group one to, to looking at it at, at this very positive way because you've actually made it, you've come to where you want to go just took you took a lot so resting is all you need to do it's all you need to do right now that's <laughs> really all you need to do but it's like you need the anxiety the, the the fight kind of to feel like yourself for a little bit and that's okay you know because it's like uh, who was i again before um the, the storm took everything um that's weird so, take your time, recover, and use the things, I, mean, I get so emotional every time I see this card, like use, there's help around you, there's actual people, like I feel like there's, I just I get this emotional scene and I just see people running to, to you with and putting blankets over you and like, um, taking care of you. You made it, okay? So let people take care of you now as well. Uh, I see the end of that video clip of um, London Grammar, um, Strong. Uh, I love that video clip where the guy puts himself like in all these fireworks and at the end the child runs with the, puts the blanket over him. You know, and the lyrics go like, um, uh, I might be so strong, I might speak so long, I've never been so wrong. Um, I'll put the link up. It's okay.
it takes a while for, to adjust. Yeah, that's where you are. Okay, good one. See, the pastel cards got me. <clears throat> they are heavy and emotional, after all. The music is not helping anymore. <laughs> God damn it. I need a break. Thank you, group one. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, or like, please share your experiences in the comments or how you're dealing or how it, does, how it feels like for you. Um, you know, and if not for yourself, it really helps to like, just take the time to write these things out just for a second. Um, it's therapeutic. Uh, and I hope uh, this resonated. And to see you in another video. Bye. Hello, group two. Let's get on with your reading. You chose this card. It's three of hearts. Uh, don't mind the smog, by the way. It's just uh, me like, burning some. Um, what is it going to. Uh, white sage? And it's me smoking. <laughs> Uh, I, I hate lying. I hate lying. Um, I mean, I hate lying, but we all do it, like, especially to ourselves. Um, I don't want to lie. I, um, and I always like feel a bit like, uh, you know, when, when these readers and they have this beautiful setup, and I, I, I believe them that they don't smoke, like, it's not like, that's why, that's why it upsets me even more when they're like, oh, don't mind the smoke, guys, it's just me burning some Palo Santo or whatever. You know, like, it's not me, like, smoking meth or whatever. And it's like, nobody was implying that in the first place, in the second, like, so what if somebody might think that you're smoking weed at the side of your video? Jesus Christ. Here, I'm doing it. Get real, let's get real. Oh, that feels good, okay. Uh, what? I don't know why I went into that. Um, oh, yeah, now I know, now I know. Because when they say that, it's just me doing that, I kind of feel judged. Like, so what if it would be something else? Um, or did you, are you assuming that they would, well, maybe I'm getting it wrong. Maybe she's saying like, don't worry, the house is not on fire, it's just me burning incense. That's not what she's saying, right? And it's a she, so um they're not I, I don't see a lot of male um readers yet sometimes i see them and they're hot sometimes wow um um yeah so <laughs> went to a place there um so i kind of feel judged when people say that and maybe they are being deep judging you know it's like because that wouldn't be holistic and spiritual right to be doing that or something I don't know, it, it just feels like a bit of a try hard stuff. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything, I'm just like letting go here. I'm, I'm venting, okay, I'm venting. Just between you and me, just like like uh, like friends here, like like um, um, like girlfriends. Um, can I be bitchy? Can I just be bitchy for a little bit, group two? Because I really like doing that. I really like complaining. And I don't mean, because you know, it's, this is that's the truth he it's like um it doesn't actually say anything about uh, other people it says more about how bad i'm i criticize or i i standards i hold to myself right oh wait i have a phone call declined um see now i get confused maybe that was a divine intervention okay um boom, boom. what was i doing you're reading Oh yeah, I wanted to be bitchy, but that's not okay. That's okay. I'm over it. I'm over it. I forgot what I was saying anyways. But there was a point there that I was like, thought it was important about the sort of, maybe the perception of um, people saying, like saying, implying stuff, or I feel like it's a both thing. I feel like sometimes people say things and they, it's like, they don't actually thought it through that well but logically follow through yes they are saying certain things and then there's your reaction right and then there's like oh my god i'm gonna explode about this and actually put effort into explaining why this 
thing is bothering me or I'm gonna just let it go. This is kind of polarity there because it's like either you open the book or not, right? So somebody says something really small, but it like irritates you or it makes you think like, wait, hold up. Um, like you don't want to make a big deal out of it because then you're there, but because maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's just like, like you misreading, right? But um, so it's kind of like that, that thing. Um, yeah, okay, and and that's that's okay. That's why I, I, I had that like 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 I, I wanted to go into that stuff so much with the smoke because it's okay. Like let's say somebody like triggers you. Um, it's not this one thing that's actually a big deal, but it just a lot comes out, sort of. You know, like the like um, because there's this. Yeah. Okay, that's what I, I don't know. There's this this thing that I'm debating in my head, like um, that just like going through me. The thing that I had in the beginning is like this this. Um, you get angry at the lack of sincerity, but then there's all, also this sort of like you demand it almost. It's like um, or. I don't know what I'm what I'm getting at, but there's this frustration about that, and then maybe this, like you don't know what reality is anymore. If it's like, you know, like you making a big deal of things and you being just triggered through your past experiences, or you actually having being sensitive to certain qualities that you don't want in your life, you know, like but like, do we know anymore? I don't know. Um, I'm just going to pull out the cards because I mean, this, this rambling can go on for a long time. 609, Cancer sign. So, uh, I feel like three more cards should be appropriate. Oof, put this card in the bottom. It's like, okay, I'm just going to look at it. What is that? <clears throat> uh, what is it? Eight, eight of Wands. Wow, I'm blocking on the meaning. Oh yeah, you want the, the fast action, fast energy. Yeah, fast, but mental especially. Like it's when um, I always see this these eight arrows, and it always uh, for me that means like mentally often like it's like when eight arrows hit you at once in your head, like trigger, <laughs> like thinking a million things at once. Um, there's a pacing problem. That's that's mostly what it is. It's like. A lack of pacing it's like instead of just saying hey this little thing annoys me i went from like and this and this and this and this and that and that and this one and blah 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 you know what i mean that's not okay but that's also just me and i i'm okay with that sometimes but it's definitely equality that i i have uh not always. I mean, it's, 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 it comes also from this passionate and this ADHD thing, you know, like, like also this being this bad interrupter. Doesn't really, really... <laughs> I see myself doing it sometimes and I get annoyed by myself and it's, it doesn't come from a bad energy or wanting to... It's more of this sort of like, oh, anxiety, um, anxiety, no, enthusiasm of like, um, before I forget and oh my God, this and, and like, oh, I really want to share that and... Um, um, but, but it's a bit of a balancing act to learn to, to give and take. However, I find that, you know, what some people, I, it, it just really clashes. And, it, and, I, and then I get into this argument where they, it's like, I dominate the conversation. I don't give them time to talk, right? But I have to say, when with the right people, I never have that problem. Okay? They know, they, they get annoyed, but they speak up and they interrupt me and they have no problem with that and they uh, you know and it's also the connection thing with the right people i just don't have to say that much i don't don't have to actually ramble that on <laughs> but with the wrong people it's like uh, um i think i just talk a lot to scare them away i'm like an like an angry chicken it's like and then people just like okay i don't know what Seven of Cups, illusions, no illusions. 
Nine of Wands, holding on. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then this communication. <clears throat> okay, group two. So, see, we don't have to make it much longer. This message. I've said the most important stuff. It's actually okay, my Google. Wait. So, look, group two. All you need to hear is like this: with the social interactions, in communication right now. Okay. Um, there are no illusions going on. Okay, that's what you need to hear. There's no double bottom. Nobody's trying to fool you. Nobody's lying to you. Nobody's trying to uh, manipulate you um, right now. Right now, okay? So, it's not going on. Um, and this is saying, hold on. Don't get ahead of yourself. Take it step by step. Wait. Just give it some time. Um, be extra careful right now in... Um, in your emotional reactions, okay? Keep it very for yourself, like you're allowed to, to react emotionally as you want, but um, don't make conclusions. Don't make conclusions, don't say things to people, don't um, make big deals of this, don't go on rants. Be, you know, um, pace it because I f it's. You're just not leveled. There's a little bit lack of balance. I think you've come out of difficult illusions, which makes you a bit distrustful. Um, and also, I feel like there's a lot of frustration, anger. Um, there's just a lot of energy, and you have to be like a little bit guarded here how it comes out. Okay? It's. I think right now when I'm recording it, it is Mercury retrograde, which in. Um, um, which generally means that communications go haywire, okay? Like people misunderstand each other, people don't... Um, letters don't arrive, emails don't arrive, or, or get just... People forget to read them, or um, orders go come back, or get lost in the mail. That's Mercury retrograde. Um, planes go missing. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, weird stuff happens. So, and, and the, the only solution in Mercury Retrograde is always just like, hold on. Because usually after that period, everything resolves itself in like this snap, 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 and it's, and it's done. Or, you know, and no matter what this is, no matter how, how you're feeling towards somebody, just tell yourself, um, you don't actually need to react to it. You don't need to react. Time will tell people will always reveal themselves in the end masks will always fall off and the fastest way you you see how people are or or, or what the fastest way for you to see what what situation you're dealing with is usually to do nothing do nothing that's say nothing don't be as be as stoic as you can in a way to see um you know, give, let, let things play out a little bit so you have enough information to work with or you are just trying to match this new information in old patterns and that's just keeping you stuck in circles. So, you know, I think you know what I mean. Um, um, don't, um, I don't say this, like, don't jump the gun, you know. Um, uh, Take a breath with everything. It's gonna be annoying. It's gonna be like, what the, f what the hell, and what is this, and like just, like, just let it rest. Just wait a week. Trust me. Most of these problems are gone or resolve themselves, or like you know, like packages that get lost suddenly arrive, or like suddenly you get emails from things like, oh sorry, you missed this, and we we resolved it already for you, and it's already taken care of, and blah blah blah. Trust me. Um, or people talk about it themselves. Um, and I feel especially this group too. It's like there's no illusions. It's fine. It's, uh, it's actually okay. And I feel like in this pink pastel way, uh, it's rhyming. Um, I want to say, okay, hey, um, I just feel like in, 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 in your, in, I know, in one way or another, it should make you happy. It's like saying it's actually okay. It's actually, 
that good. Um, it's like there's a nice little ice cream. You know, it's like in the middle of the woods. And suddenly there's this nice little like stand and has ice cream on it. And it looks so delicious and real and like perfect, like freshly, like everything, you know, with sprinkles on top. And I'm here to tell you, it's real. It's real ice cream and you can eat it. There's no illusions going on. And then you're telling me like, hold the phone. What do you mean this ice cream is in the middle of the forest? How can this not be a problem or an illusion or a trap, right? What, the, what do you mean this is okay? How in God's name can this be okay? It's okay. It's a test. Eat the ice cream. And you know why it's okay? Because somebody just told you it's okay. Because you just got somebody telling you that, hey, in this very special, unique circumstance, it's actually okay. I know it's weird. I know it's against everything you want to believe or that actually that it's looking like because this is the illusion for you it looks like that it looks like you're in a place where no it's not possible that there, this ice cream could be there but that's not what's going on that's the illusion so that's why there's um, God's help in your inner voice saying you eat the yummy ice cream with the sprinkles and it's gonna bring you more to that reality instead of the woods, you know? I feel like I just went deep there and I feel like it was cool. So, group two, I hope it helps. Like, share, and subscribe. And um, I hope to see you in another reading. Take very good care of yourselves. And just hold on with sending that text. Just keep it cool. Be cool. Man's not hot. Okay, you know what I mean? Man's not hot. The girl said, take off your jacket. I said, man's not hot. That's a song, look it up. I mean, I don't want to. Maybe I'll put the lyric, uh, the link up. <laughs> yeah, I'll put the link up. It's a good song and it's funny and it's and it's a good vibe you have to catch right now. You know, like, don't be bothered. Man's not hot. Never hot. Hot sauce. No ketchup. I love the lyrics where you, the, 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 the lyrics are cool where it goes like, one plus one is two, plus one is three quick maths. <laughs> um, okay, so that's a fun song for you to listen to. See you around, group two, bye. Hello, group three. We chose card with the number two, which I just realized how annoying that is that group two is with the three and with group three is with the twos. Um, maybe it's meant to confuse you and annoy you. Oh yeah, I know how, please tell me if this happened to you. You went in before the video, like when, because I have this before I choose the card, I will. I already have the number in my head. My brain already goes like two, three, one, you know, really fast. So maybe you had that and then it went, because I already also have that. Like you went like, okay, two. And then you look at the options and then there's like number two is like three. And then number three is two. And then you're like, oh, fuck, I still have to choose. Or listen to both. Homework. See, and that's what I mean. Like, look, you have this one clear heart and then there's this vague other option. Um, or, or this is sort of like you think you're, you're like you're sure you're like yep I know what I want and suddenly ooh um, this is a uh, wait now I confused myself and I'm giggling love love this is a love card group number three um, two of cups what's this all about tell me script two it's okay it is beautiful communication card you're getting communication or talking planning ah no passion boom, boom. No. first line of thought is here um I, I'm really blocking something here like wait uh, first line of thought was here somebody wants to communicate to you that they mean business and that they really have a lot of passion for you um, but what what was I saying in the beginning of that you're like That's okay. That's a bit of the illusion you're suffering with. Okay, you met somebody, 
and you, it's your first thing or you, or you already know what you want you know what you want and then it's there but then there's this other option or something or it becomes unclear or suddenly you're doubtful so first line of thought was very certain of yourself and then suddenly it's a bit of a maybe there's two options or maybe suddenly you think oh okay it's one of these things like your instinct gives you this strong sign and then you suddenly look at the options and then you start wondering oh but did my instinct mean this actually you know like am i misinterpreting the signs somebody wants to be serious with you somebody really wants it um, and I'm here to tell you that follow that first instinct. This is clear red. This is drifting off a bit. Behind bars, I feel like you need. You know what I mean? This feels like in the sh in the shadow. Uh, follow that first instinct. Follow it. It's scary because I feel like you're making yourself just scared to. Scared to do the wrong thing, and that's never a good motivation. That's never, never the right, um, yeah, motivation to do anything. If you're moving from a place of avoiding something, or afraid to do something, or when you, when you're making choices with the uh, motivation or the drive of fear, you're never moving in the right way. You have to move with. Uh, making choices from uh, what you want and desire and good feeling, you know? Um, I, I choose that because I want that and not because I'm afraid to miss out. See what I want? See what I, see what I want? See what I mean? See what I want? Oh no! I, I don't it's, with these videos. I give myself so many of these like weird one-liners that I'm then I'm like, oh no, what am I trying to tell myself this time? And it's see what I mean. Mm. Okay, so now I'm getting kind of the anguish where we are at more. It's more of a like you don't know what to think. So stop thinking, stop thinking, stop thinking, no illusions. <laughs> Same from group two, like I was holding this card the entire time while I was talking to you. There are no illusions here, you're spot on, you, you, you first instinct, instinct is good and then follow that first instinct, just follow it. It was a good desire, it was a good feeling, it's, it has a clear answer. You know, just follow it and um, don't make it too complicated. And, you know, like if there are two options, try the two options. And this is also saying, this, let this other person um, or this thing show itself or like come, like come to you because you know, like if it's a, definitely if it's a meeting of two people, if you have the spot on feeling, um, if you're right, then this other person, person, that sounds so Dutch there. This other person is going to act accordingly, so don't don't make it over complicated, okay? If you have to listen to two readings, listen to two readings, okay? I'm not gonna make it that long, so it's like only six minutes. I'm gonna do it under seven, seven, seven whole card, seven, no illusions. Um, follow that first instinct and have fun, and you can't go wrong, okay? Especially if it's about a person, um, if it's uh, really somebody that's meant for you and who who will love you. Um, they will love you for your mistakes and they, despite your mistakes and you can't do wrong, they will understand you, okay? If there's people, who, if they misunderstand you and they, they judge you and they can't handle you in your mistakes, they're not the right person for you and you know your answer. That was 7 Minutes. I've been Jeff. I hope to see you soon. Bye. Hello, group 4. Number 9. Okay, what does it say? Fans. Yeah, give me a fan. That's one of my songs. Please listen to it, especially now it's in the summer. I would really appreciate it if like, you know, it's really one of those really hot days. If you can just like show this my song to people because then they'll be like, oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm going through. And then maybe they'll listen to it 
and they'll show another person and then maybe um, um, my dreams come true um, maybe okay so sorry um, for the short um, hostage takeover of your reading but as we discussed discussed in one of the previous group like it's one of those end situations where it's all about me, but it's also all about you. Okay? So, I love group three. Um, fans are exactly the same size and shape. That's what it says. The fans are exactly the same size and shape. But that's bullshit, right? Because <laughs> the first fan is obviously shorter. <laughs> Lies! Lies! Um, fans are exactly the same size and shape. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, stop comparing. Something you're comparing. Um, maybe something. Uh, or you're not seeing your true worth or value. Uh huh. Okay, all these cards are standing up. No communication. This card has come up every reading. How creepy and crazy is that? Now it's upside down. Cool. I'm really looking at these colors now, this blue and then this... It just seems like a heart, a heart. You know, like, I mean, the actual organ, because that's how it kind of would be in your body, like with this, with the aorta. Um, or the, the, the... Oh no, I don't want to say something wrong now. Uh, especially in the pulmonary... Uh, the, the Vena Keva. What is that junction called? Like, I really need to look at the anatomy books again. Anatomy. Anatomy is important here for some reason. Uh, your heart. It's weird. First, I wanted to go like maybe you are um, having these, these body issues where you're like uh, looking at other people and thinking, like, oh, the, they're so thin or they're so muscular or they're so this or that. And I'm only this, but this this card is saying like no, exactly the same size and shape, something you know, like you're not seeing it right. And then I got with this heart, I got like your heart is just as big, or your um, you have a big heart. <sighs> okay, my very first um, thought was when I was just reading this card was that you are together with a person. And um, you're equal, and it doesn't even feel in this bad way of like you're putting this other. That's what I, that's the that's the good thing actually. It's like it's it's one of those where you are really like in awe of somebody, but at the same time you're not putting them on a pedestal per se. You know, like you you do see all these good things, but you don't. Um, you're not putting them that much above you um, and that's healthy and this had me saying like their heart is you both have a big heart or something and this is about independence okay like I'm like, like really so many things are going to me at the same time and then I have this passion and no planning uh. Yeah, first first idea is here, like follow your passion, follow your 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 instinct. Don't plan too much. Don't think it out too much. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Focus on yourself, don't overthink it. Yeah, like I mean and focus on yourself, I mean like go about your own way, focus on your own stuff, do what you normally do, take care of yourself. Um, focus on that, you know, like every day. That's, this should always be your priority, guys, no matter w w w what situation or, or job or relationship you're in or, or stuff. When you get out of bed, first you sit down with you and yourself. What do I need? Well, I can know, like, what is my plan? What is my schedule? What is my to-do list today? Okay? It's always the first step. Me, 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 me. Me. It's about me. Yeah. And then go to other people. I feel like this is kind of encouraging me. Like group four, I feel like you were in group three, and this is kind of just like this. Um, I'm I'm your coach here. I'm your relationship coach. Like you just met somebody, and it's just saying like, 
you're matching you both have like big hearts this is good energy um you know like you you're equals you're equals um and just follow the, the the passion follow that heart don't overthink this don't overplan this okay and especially especially for when you're falling in love or you're in love or maybe you're in uh, some situation that is you know i'm getting this this could also be a situation that is just asking a lot of your it's occupying you or it's asking a lot of it's causing you maybe like putting you you know like um it's just a stressful situation and it's kind of uh, occupying you a lot um go back to the basics every time okay like like first go back to you if you find that this something is like blocking you in your energy all day it's not good you have to be able to like see like at the same time let go you know like if you have a fun adventure let go and like go on that fun adventure but then afterwards go back to you don't um yeah get back to yourself get back to that grounding that balancing um uh, don't forget that like and that's the most healthiest way i find when i am excited about people and you know i can sit there looking at my phone waiting for a text message and it won't come but then when i get to me and i just start doing my business and my emails and you know, taking care of my bills you know doing the plan that that was there like that that I try to think what would I be doing if the situation hadn't happened and that's how you let things have the least control over you or that's how you also don't um, keep your own cool because then you're not letting something affect you and then you can also um, react more it's easy it's more easy to react than in a more detached like like neutral way when you just sort of it's not affecting your daily life and your stuff because you stand on your own to feet no matter what, okay? And I don't care how oppressive this, this other party is or the situation is. Uh, always start with yourself. And you're just as important and big and strong and beautiful as this other party or person. You are worthy, you know, okay? Whatever the situation is, you are worthy of it and it is worthy of you. Now, I feel very content there. Dum, dum, that's it. Group 4, I hope you like it. Please like, share, and subscribe. That would be nice. And um, share my song. Put the link up. That would be nice. Thank you. Or just listen to it. Just once. Just give it a like. Or just go to Spotify. Listen to it once. You know. Just for me. Thank you. Um, and have a very nice day. Bye.